hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching you how to make a dishwash a liquid soap for commercial purpose so we're making um 22 to 25 liters of liquid soap in this video so please stay back and enjoy i will list everything you need and all the steps you need thank you We'll be needing caustic soda i've already measured it all the weight of the components will be listed in the description box below this is soda ash and this is our stpp you can buy all these from your chemical store around you remember the weight of all the in components i'm using are listed in the description box below so first we are going to dilute all our powdered ingredients in water this is the caustic soda i poured it in a one liter of water covered it and kept it aside to dissolve very well yes you can stir it if you want the second one is still another one liter i measured i added the caustic soda to it I stirred too and covered it, kept it aside to dissolve. This is how you prepare all the powdered components of this liquid soap. You can add the liquid ones directly, but for the powdered ones, please do dilute it so that you will not have lumps after making your liquid soap. This is our STPP. I've also added it. I will still stir it and keep it aside. This is the sulfonic acid we'll be using. I bought 750 ml of sulfonic acid. Sulfonic acid is one of the most expensive here. Sulfonic acid and nitrosol. Then the next, we're going to use the foam booster, 500 ml of our foam booster. That's the, what is this one? That looks like orange color. Then the next thing is the color. I'll be using a water soluble color. Make sure you buy water soluble color, not oil soluble color, please. This is color pink. Then the next thing we are going to be needing is our texapon. We'll be needing at least 250 grams of this texapon. We need our perfume. Any perfume of your choice. I like fruity smell perfume. So we'll measure, uh, we also need the nitrosol, 125 gram of nitrosol. So we'll measure some part of the water, like 15 liters of our water into a big bowl. And then you add our nitrosol to it, stir our nitrosol into it. Please use a wooden stick while you are doing this. And one, one trick about making liquid soap is that while you are making it, you need to be stirring continuously. You can find someone to help you or you just have to be doing it very well. If you don't stir very well, you end up having lumps so in your liquid soap at the end of your production. I've had that, encountered that before when I started making a liquid soap earlier. So after pouring my natural in, sorry the way I poured it and, and the tin uh, splashed everywhere. Just turn very well. Just continue turning. After your nitro so the next thing you will be adding is you go and carry your bucket of a uh, caustic soda that it has diluted and cooled down and then it's time to add the caustic soda. Please follow each of the steps I'm, I'm using sequentially. This will make you to arrive at a good a good uh, end product this is the caustic soda i've added it immediately you add your caustic soda you will notice that the solution will start getting very thick that's caustic soda for you sodium hydroxide mixed with um, nitrosol that's the second thing we are adding to this our liquid soap making remember i started up with 15 liters of water and i've already used one one liter of water to dilute three of our of our powder the ingredients it is later that i will make up the water not now let's start first let's continue 
So after the caustic soda, we get our soda ash. It has well dissolved, no more particles. We add our soda ash in and stir very well. Continue stirring. The more you add all these things, the, the thicker they get. Soda ash is just to help. Uh, is a is a cleaning agent in liquid soap. So is you must add it. It helps to remove tough tough stains. And it also helps to make the water soft in case you are using it where where they have hard water. You know when the water is hard, a soap cannot really form. Instead of the soap soap um, having leather leathers, it will have scum. So that's why you need to add soda ash. It removes tough stains and also helps to make the water soft. So continue stirring. Continue stirring. We are going to pick up our texapon. I've measured our 250 grams of texapon and add to the solution. Texapon gel. There's a one comes in the gel. I think there is one they normally call the liquid one and the powdered one in the market. I've not gotten those one before. I know my, I stick to texapon gel. So when you add it, because it's liquid form, just make sure everything enters the bowl well very well. See, I'm putting on gloves, so I'm not using my bare hands. Then you start mixing again and make sure that every every lump of the texapon is well mixed. Next, we get our STPP. It has well dissolved. You see no particle again inside the bowl. You pour in your STPP and continue stirring. The secret to achieving a very good textured dishwashing liquid is in the stirring. Please stir. Continue stirring. Like I said, if you cannot, please find somebody to help you. At this point, it will be getting thicker and thicker and thicker and it will be foaming. So if you can't really move turn turn it very well, please get somebody to help you. Next is our sulfonic acid. You start adding it gently as you pour it round the bucket, you continue stirring. Sulfonic acid will cause a massive foaming to occur at the top surface of this solution. This is the second bottle of the sulfonic acid. Sulfonic acid also helps the liquid soap to foam very well. If you want to have a very good foaming uh, liquid soap, please. You can actually make this uh, 750 ml sulfonic acid to 1 liter. 1 liter of sulfonic acid right now in the market is about 2200 naira. So just add it, add it and continue stirring. You see those liquid soap that they make beside the roadside that doesn't foam very well. It all ends up in this uh, sulfonic acid when they don't add enough. Some may just buy 100 ml or 200 ml or 250 ml and use it and make a very large quantity. Yes, it would be thick. Being thick or not thick is not, is not really why we are buying a, a, a liquid soap. We are buying it for you to be able to remove grease and stains from our clothes and plates when we are washing. So you actually need this sulfonic acid in your mixture. Please. Some customers may want it very thick, some customers may not. Some will just tell you, let it just be as light as morning fresh, and they are okay with it. This is the foam booster. You add it now and stay. After the sulfonic acid, what follows next is the foaming booster. Add everything. Normally, to this foaming booster, some persons also use 250 ml of um, 
yes 250 mil of this foaming booster for this 25 mil 25 liters production but i use 500 mil i want it to foam very well because i also supply to restaurants and hotels and they need a very good foaming liquid soap you can already see the bubbles and the foams forming on top of the solution we are mixing like i said it's not really about the thickness it's about how active your liquid soap is you can make a liquid soap that is as thick as fufu but it's not foaming mm -mm. it will not work they will not return by your customers will not come back so make it to be normal the texture but let it be very very active for the color dilute it with a little bit of water and then pour, you pour it in badge me i poured it in twice the first one and the second one i divided into two while i was pouring to be able to ascertain the color i need sometimes you may buy some colors if it's a different product it might be too pinkish or not depending on the color you are using so you add little at a time to if you add the first one you check if you are okay with the color you can stop but if you are not okay with it you can continue pouring in your color this is our perfume i just added in now i normally use fruity perfumes like pineapple mango orange they smell lovely so this is the color that i was talking about i added half of the initial i stirred then later i added the rest you see me doing it in the video At this point i got the second part of the color pink color and i added all then continued stirring at this second part i was able to get the color that i actually needed so just continue stirring So at this point, I decided to add extra liters of water to make it up to 24 to 25 liters in total. I was actually checking the thickness as I'm pouring the water so that I will not have it to be too light. Like I said, it must not be too thick. With the quantity of uh, ingredients I gave you, you will have this texture of soap as i'm stirring and it will still be very 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 active active in washing clothes active in washing soap act active to remove oils and dirt from plates easily you can see the texture how it looks like some people don't like lumpy soap if you follow this procedure you have a good outcome like this thank you guys for watching I will allow it to settle and once it's settled, I'll pour it in a bottle and show you guys how it looks like. So this is the final outcome. Look at how it's looking shining, bright and beautiful. And the pink color is radiating. Use sharp colors when you're making your liquid soap and you will not regret it. Thank you guys for watching. Here is the list of all the ingredients I used.